Hello and welcome in to my Leos, to the raw babies, those who work for Source, who are light workers, chosen ones, whatever you identify as, welcome in. Okay, I'm going to look at messages that your guys might want you to know about, that the light teams that support us may think you need to be aware of. All right, then I'm going to look at manifestations, your love life, and follow up with some oracle cards. Okay, so I'm going to get straight on with it. Please hit that like button and subscribe. It'd be great to hear from you also in the comments. Let me know what your mission is on this planet. Okay, we've got the world card called the universe in this deck, the great one of the night time. We've got the knight of cups. We've got the devil. And one more please, spirit. We've got the king of pentacles. Okay, so whew, I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons recently, Leo. Okay, there could be someone in your life that's a little bit toxic that they want you to be aware of. Now, this may affect your money if you keep this person around. Okay, so on this timeline, this person comes across as quite idealistic, quite in their imagination. They may bring a lot of good energy with them, but at the same time, it's almost like they're pulling you off your path a little bit. So just be aware of that. Okay, it seems like you've got a great mindset that you're using currently or that you have available to use, all right, that may involve your imagination, a lot of imagination, but you know, this is this is you being coaxed towards that, okay? This is you being coaxed in the direction of following your most idealistic pursuits, okay? There may be some doubts in your mind that are kind of stopping you perhaps monetizing an idea you've had, a way of mind, okay? This could even be coaching others, teaching others about the power of their mind. And there's just a little bit of resistance here that's stopping you monetize this. Let me see what else we've got. The Hermit. Okay, so you may have to go into solitude a little bit to deal with this energy that seems to be giving you doubts, Leo, okay? You've got the sun on the bottom of the deck, beautiful energy, you showing up in your own reading, that's always good to see. All right, let's see what else for you. Show me, show me the world. Show me the world, spirit guide, show me the world. Okay, we've got the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy, very fiery. Again, I think there's something here about you having a wonderful mindset that you need to go forward with, okay? That's going to take courage, that's going to take you having a lot of faith in yourself, all right? Show me more. I feel like your spirit guides want you to be more positive and confident in yourself with this, yeah. Nine of Cups, okay, <laughs> wow. This is about wish fulfillment. This is something that you hold close to your heart, something that is very idealistic to you, okay? Something that makes you feel great when you think about it. And they want you to have more faith in that, Leo, okay? They want you to really have faith in your own dreams. Don't let these niggling doubts stop you on your path. Yeah, we've got the Emperor jumping out there when I move the deck. So this is about you being your own boss, you trusting yourself, you knowing that your mindset is just uh, just as valuable as anyone else's opinions, okay? Not needing a big fan club to support you, but really being your own fan club. Let's have a look at this Knight of Cups. Okay, we've got the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, your imagination may have you a little bit all over the place. You're, tr you're probably trying to please all these different sides of yourself, please others, or, you know, the world is kind of pulling you in lots of different directions, hence the hermit coming out to remind you to give yourself that solitude, give yourself that free time to just spend time with yourself, <clears throat> excuse me, and just get to know yourself more, get comfortable with your own energies, all right, let's have a look what else. Oh, yeah, we've got the strength card. Okay, so I really feel like you strengthening up an idea that you've had previously, an idea that you're already aware of somewhere or somehow. Some of you may have forgotten what this was or you've written it in a notepad, whatever. But the idea is to strengthen this up, make it reality, bring it into fruition, okay? I feel like life may, yeah, be pulling you in, in all different directions at the moment, but there's one thing that really pulls at your heart and you'd really like to go forward with. Perhaps it doesn't feel like that would be practical at the moment. But I feel like there's strength in this idea. 
we've got the Emperor and the Strength card. So definitely have a look into any ideas that you kind of may have brushed away as being impractical or, you know, too idealistic. I feel like there's something here where you could really strengthen one of these ideas and turn it into a real monetary business. Show me the devil and the hermit, please, spirit. Okay, got the lovers. Okay, the lovers is all about choosing which pathway to go down. Knowing that one pathway, one action, one choice will take you down a completely different road versus another option. Okay, so this is telling you to go inward, spend time with yourself first and foremost, really get to the bottom of what it is you value and what you want to create in your reality. All right, because I feel like there's something niggling at you with this devil card. There's something niggling at you. If you go into solitude, you will get clearer answers, Leo. And we've got the four of wands here. So one of these pathways, okay, or people or options will take you to a really blissful positioning. You've just got to figure out by knowing how you feel, all right? We need to base our decisions on that feeling, which is the real fuel when it comes to alchemizing our own realities. Four of Wands, I mean, you've got really strong energies here. Emperor, Strength, Four of Wands. You're showing up twice in your own reading already. Four of Wands is also a very fiery card for you. Okay, we've got the Magician. So I feel like you're really concerned with how you're going to monetize your life, how you're going to manifest, what you're going to bring in in terms of stability. Let's look into this a little bit more. The Magician's all about knowing that your mind is the workroom. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to get to grips with this idea, okay? You're going to go into solitude. You're going to have a lot of faith and courage in yourself. You're going to focus on how you feel and figure out what actually makes you feel better. What route actually is the right one for you based on how you assume it will make you feel, based on how it feels when you think about it, when you meditate on it. You're going to really clear this up because you've got this new pathway waiting, okay? This is you having built up enough energy to really go forward and manifest on a whole new level. And I think you know that. I think there's something here about you clearing your mind, prioritizing, and not letting yourself be pulled this way, that way, and, and whatever. But to really focus, okay? To really hone your focus here and really realize that reality reacts to your mindset. And you get to choose, you get to forge your path, you get to be the one who decides what ideas you're going to take forward and what you're going to leave behind. So very important decisions to be made, Leo. Tell me more about Leo manifestations. Actually, I'm going to grab a different deck and we're going to start fresh here underneath. Okay. What does Leo need to know about their manifestations? What does Leo need to know about their manifestation spirit? Again, that two of pentacles. Okay, so all this back and forth and back and forth with regards to something in your life is going to kind of dwindle the power of your focus because you're focused on multiple things. So your focus is always more powerful when you're focused explicitly on, on one path, okay? One thing that you're determined to get. There's a lot of multitasking here in this energy. Let's see, what else? See, the emperor doesn't multitask. The emperor is calm, concise, knows what he's doing, when he's doing it, how he's going to execute these decisions. Okay, we've got the judgment card. So there is one path here that is calling out to you. It's just a case of you activating it, accessing it via your focus, via your frequency, getting yourself on the right frequency, tuning your radio to the right station here, and you'll know by how you feel when you've hit the jackpot, okay, energetically. So, of course, being a chosen one, light worker, initiated, there's something specifically that you need to do. You may have to go to a psychic. You may have to kind of get this cleared up in your mind a little bit, get a little help from one of the team members to help you know exactly... Uh, which way to put your energy because right now I feel like your energy is being squandered a little bit yeah here we are king of wands okay Leo energy again your energy again once you go inward and you start realizing 
okay they're telling me vision okay so you've got a vision of what you want your life to look like okay maybe a vision board could help but you're gonna perhaps have a vision in a meditation there's a specific vision how you see yourself how you want your life to be that's going to become apparent here and then you're really going to be taking the reins you're really then going to be taking charge of your life going in the right direction forging ahead beautiful there's definitely a pathway calling you here leo definitely a pathway calling you and this could be something that you brushed off before as being you know perhaps insignificant or unrealistic but you can monetize this you could you can make it happen okay strong powerful energy with the magician and the ace of pentacles and again with the star energy this could involve healing people again the star in tarot is is used to represent being chosen to do a specific task a specific mission on this earth once you figure out what that is there's no stopping you and this being in the manifestation row this is bound to happen okay you're bound to hit upon an epiphany a vision a feeling that takes you in the right direction okay one more please spirit the world yeah lovely powerful energies so this is like a whole new world waiting for you once you step through this portal okay once you decide decisively on a route on a way forward on a pathway and you stick to your guns okay that's when you end up stepping into a whole new world a whole new manifestational world and of course it's not just about money but it's about the lifestyle the lifestyle you want to achieve you've had a vision of this and you've got the strength here to really make it happen okay but right now it's just it's just sort of it's figuring out what to leave behind what to drop what isn't a priority i feel like that's going to be really important for you all right what about love show me love for leo show me love for leo please okay so an offer coming in page of pentacles you might hear from someone you've really wanted to hear from this could be you offering something to someone else but definitely movement here let's see what else could be an earth sign virgo taurus or a capricorn that you've had contact with or, or might get contact with justice libra energy showing up okay so i feel like you're going to be dealing with someone who's very straightforward very honest very fair could be a libra wow party three of cups okay so i feel like you're going to get an offer at some social gathering okay and this person's going to be straight up straightforward which is so valuable these days all right meeting people who are fair just and balanced okay we've got the king of cups wow and the victory card here so i feel like there's a really successful offer coming in for you leo that will make you feel very victorious okay i'm getting the vibe that you might have multiple options at the moment but one in particular is going to make you feel very celebratory okay very victorious this person's very straight up and fair when it comes to how they feel letting you know how they feel being honest about their emotions and they could really have you falling in love they could have you feeling like really celebratory here with the three of cups let's see let's clarify king of pentacles again virgo taurus capricorn energy someone who's really sorted in life someone who likes things to be done in a straightforward way because i don't feel like this person's got the time to mess around all right they haven't got all of that spare time this is a business person And they take things quite seriously. I feel like this person's spare time is very important to them because they don't get a chance to go out and party a lot. Okay, so I feel like they're going to be approaching you um, because they need to make the most of their opportunities here. Hmm, interesting. Wow, two of cups. Beautiful, right on top of the justice card. So again, that reciprocity, the fairness. Okay, this is someone who's really going to get you. You're going to get them. And with you having the king of pentacles up here and this person having the king of pentacles, king of pentacles down here excuse my ptsd stutter all right you two are both gonna have business in mind you're gonna have manifestation in mind this person understands i feel the law of attraction they understand the power of their focus when they offer you something it really means a lot to them because they know their value okay they know how valuable they are let's see what else 
Show me the Three of Cups, please, Spirit. Okay, we've got the Four of Cups. Okay, one more, please. And the Ten of Cups. Wow, interesting energy. I feel like this person's been disappointed in the past, but they still haven't given up, okay? This could also be you turning down offers that just aren't up to your level of discernment, you know, turning down people that you just don't feel like are on your level. However, I feel like this person is on your level, okay? And with the Ten of Cups here, I feel like you're gonna be able to have a lot of good times with this person. You're gonna really be able to create a beautiful reality together, okay? Lots of emotion, all right? I feel like both of you may be quite sensitive, to potential rejection but you're both quite confident anyway all right it's funny it almost feels like you may spend time with this person party with this person and then wake up the next day with them hung over <laughs> okay so that may be a message for someone out there but you're still gonna have fun you're still going to um see the funny side in this okay page of swords this person could watch you for quite a while before they approach you they may have done research on you this could even be someone you've turned down in the past, I feel. Or they've turned you down in the past. You can reverse what I'm saying to be you or them. Okay, this is just the energy as it's coming through. But yeah, there's a sense of disillusionment in previous encounters, but you two kind of bringing out that rainbow in each other again, okay? Could be a same-sex connection with the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups here. We've got the Fool coming out as well. Hmm. It's almost like it's almost like this person does a lot of research and then they just breeze their way in and acts all like they've never met you before, never seen you before. <laughs> and kind of like, you know. But they like to have their knowledge and their data. They don't like to waste their time. That's the sort of vibe I'm getting here. Show me the six of wands, please, spirit. Okay, so we've got the three of swords coming out. I feel like this new connection is going to be so reciprocal and so beautiful that it's going to make you feel so victorious and it's going to make you almost feel glad that you've had your heart broken in the past. It's going to make you feel glad that you didn't take the pathway with others that you could have taken in the past. Okay, so this is like that feeling you get when you're like, oh, I'm so glad it didn't work out with those previous people because this is so much better, I feel. Yeah, big disappointments in the past big disappointments in the past but this is literally like it's balancing this out for you okay you're going to really be in your element here i feel one more please spirit yeah when you meet this person you might be quite defensive because of old situations all right but this is telling me take a leap of faith okay i feel like you may have done your research on this person and you kind of like what you see and again, with the victory card coming out, this is a victory on top of all the previous defeats, disappointments, heartbreaks. Show me one more. Yeah. This is going to break you out of any previous... Look at this. This is going to break you out of any previous anxieties that you've had. All right? This is going to be a whole new mindset. So you're going to be able to put down the disappointments, put down the defensiveness, put down the heartbreak, and literally gallop along in a ha much happier state of mind. And I say gallop along, we've got the chariot as well here. So I feel like this person is going to be so fair and reciprocal that you're actually going to be able to completely forget who you were before in past disappointments and past heartbreaks and really flow along merrily on a whole new pathway all right so i don't think this person's going to mind if you do a bit of research before you commit yourself because they understand they don't like having their time wasted either all right and at first you may feel tempted to turn them down i feel like leo but with time and patience and a bit of research i feel like you're going to realize that this person could be your ultimate happiness okay but there is a bit of defensiveness here um due to previous situations all right Let's have a look at these oracle cards and see what's going on here. What does Leo need to know, Spirit? What does Leo need to know? Show me this two of pentacles. One at a time. Home base, okay. I feel like this is about you really, again, with the Four of Wands and the Home Base card, this is about you really establishing what it is that is worth your time and energy. The lifestyle you want to be living, 
okay the way you actually want to be living on a daily basis okay without spreading yourself too thin in any direction how can you bring all these different parts of you know your passions your pleasures how can you bring all that together and walk one solid pathway some of you may be working from home or thinking about working from home some of you may be having to find somewhere stable to base yourself and really feel like you know you are at home and you aren't all over the place yeah matter okay so this is about you feeling rooted and grounded in the 3d feeling like you've got a sanctuary feeling like you are where you belong all right big message here you finding that true place that you can grow spirit's telling me finding the right flower pot to grow in okay but it's like yeah you need your flower pot you need your stable sense of home life Okay, second house. So that's about values, about what you value and how you value it. I see the second house as being like the safe, okay, of of the, the birth chart. So the second house is where you would put your valuables. So, you know, it's about what you find valuable. So you might want to look at your second house because therein may lie the key to this pathway for you and how to direct and focus yourself in your light work, in your mission fire right on top of the king of wands beautiful always remember your fire leo always remember that fire is spiritual power and you have a lot of it this could also about be about you finding your passion again following that energy of passion being confident being really uh, being who you are being really leonine knowing you're the king of the jungle male or female doesn't matter okay we've got pisces here coming out on top of the star Okay, so you could be a healer. I feel like there's a lot of wisdom for you to share out in the world. And you will know what this wisdom is. You've just got to have faith in it. Again, it may feel like imaginative. It may feel a bit airy-fairy. But that is the name of the game. We're bringing magic into the realm in a way that isn't usual. You'll get a lot of people acting like, you know, you don't know what you're talking about because you're bringing new information and the leaders are always going to be leading edge. They're always going to have information that others don't have or don't understand. But I really definitely feel like you've got a lot of um, healing potential here and a lot of wisdom. Again, it's just about you finding your feet and finding your stability and finding a solid, a, the solid ground to grow roots in. Pluto, the world. Funny enough, Pluto is the ruler of the world. This is about transformation. This is about making a choice and going with that flow and transforming with that choice. May feel uncomfortable, may feel unfamiliar, may feel difficult, but that's what we're here to do. We're here to evolve into more than what we were before. And I feel like you're doing really well with that. You may want to see what, what Pluto is doing in your birth chart. Okay, find out where your Pluto is located what sign it's in and what house it's in and that may be really helpful for you one more for leo please spirit 11th house and first house okay two came out even though i asked for one i'm gonna take that okay we've got one 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 here as well okay so friendship's really important they have the right people around you and the first house again representative of you how others perceive you how you perceive yourself okay all of these things may be relevant in what you're doing. I'm going to pull some moon cards. Okay, we've got you're very close to achieving your goal. Yeah. It's about you having faith in this idea that's been marinating in your psyche, I think, for quite a while now. What else for Leo? What else for Leo? It's time to release negativity. See, again, with this devil card being there, I mean, this can be someone else around you as an extension of your own consciousness, or this can be something within yourself, the doubts, okay? So any self-doubt, any worries, anything that is uh, holding you back within yourself, I feel, needs to go. You need to make a firm decision, the pathway you're going to go down, what you stand for, and why you're here. Take one more. A new start is coming right on top of the Ace of Pentacles. Brilliant. Okay, and we've got your commitment is being tested on the bottom of the deck. 
So again, this is about your commitment to yourself. This is about how well you know yourself and what choices you're gonna make alchemically. And I feel like you really need to find that courage, that emperor energy, and really go for it, Leo. You've got it, you know you have. You know you, you guys are royalty, you guys are sovereignty. You guys have to have that self-confidence, all right? And get rid of these devilish doubts and niggling doubts about yourself and know that you've got this, okay? There's a pathway you chose for yourself before you got here. And I feel like you're gonna make the decision, realize the power of your mind, and get on with this beautiful new start. But there is something here about you feeling secure, having somewhere secure to grow roots and having somewhere secure to go back to. And I don't know if there's some something with a home that's a bit unstable at the moment, but there's something making, there's something in your spirit that needs more stability, that needs to feel like it knows where it belongs, okay? Now, sometimes we have to make do with knowing that our soul is where we belong and we can find a great sense of grounding and comfort comfort within that rather than something outside of ourselves like a home like people okay show me a sacred traveler card please spirit sacred traveler for leo please Okay, navigating by the stars, follow your bliss. Again, relating to this hermit card, getting into solitude, finding out what makes you feel secure, finding out what makes you feel at home and the kind of vision you want to embody and take to fruition. What do you want to take on this new pathway, Leo? What do you want to bring with you in your mindset and what do you need to leave behind? Very important questions, all right? And on the bottom of the deck, we've got everything is smooth sailing, okay? So maybe you need to meditate, there may be a need to reconnect with your fire, with your power. Check out the um, placements that have come up for you. Second house, first house, 11th house. And this Pluto Pluto here. Uh, find out where your Pluto is positioned. I feel like that's quite important to you in terms of what you're doing in this lifetime, in this incarnation, and the values you want to live by and what you want to take forward on your path. Okay. Those are your messages, Leo. Thank you for being here. Lots of love.